My name is Harrison Gay, and uh, I do pottery. I do a, a Santa Clara style pottery I learned there in Santa Clara. Uh, my children are from the uh, Santa Clara area, and I live in Albuquerque right now. And uh, as you see, my pieces I did here were uh, Santa Clara style. It also uh, has a lot of Navajo influence or Dene influence in my pottery. And uh, I, the pieces that I make and the designs that I make are just from the heart. It's something that I like. I like. And, uh, watching, going to my, uh, uh, visiting my in-laws, and uh, one night I just uh, picked up some clay, and uh, my stepfather-in-law is the one that introduced me to the clay, and we started making pottery that night. And he says, "You're an artist. You can make pottery," and and I went from there and, and fell in love with the pottery. I originally um, I'm a painter and I do drawings and uh, just really like pottery. It's my passion. Probably the main thing is uh, it's, it's all uh, from the earth. It's I, I make it all myself. The clay, everything is uh, handmade. Uh, go up in the hills and gather my own, my own clay. Uh, I do all of that and I taught my children. My son is also working with me and, and he likes. To, to do uh, pottery too. I'm a spiritual person. Uh, when I do my pottery, I I, uh, I pray about it, and uh, and I feel like when I pray about it, I'm able to get a lot of wonderful inspiration going into the pottery. And I, um, I believe that uh, uh, the Creator is is helping me out, and I'm able to uh, uh, do some beautiful artwork. Uh, through inspiration, through feelings that I, that, that, I, that comes from there, and and it's part of Mother Earth, and that's why we, that's why it's so exciting. Uh, the recession uh, started a few years back. Uh, I I felt it, and uh, uh, there there was uh, uh, almost a year there that I had a lot of pottery sitting in my house, and. Uh, and I think it's also hurt other people too. When you go to a show, it was, it was I had to push my pottery harder to sell the pieces. And sometimes I might sell uh, maybe only four or five pieces. And uh, I think it was uh, it was it was, a, it was, a, it was a tough times. And I, I and it still affects the people to this day. And I see that at like when I'm on the Indian market. Indian market is like the biggest uh, is the biggest uh, show in the Indian American. Native American show in the world, and uh, a lot of people go there, and it's difficult. It was very hard for people to to, uh, to buy because of the recession too. And it also hit their pockets. So slowly turning. So I, I hope, hope, continue to hope and pray that it'll get better and better. And better. The first show is not as good as the Indian market, and a lot of people come here because the Indian market is huge. Uh, they'd like to come here and, uh, and I guess it's, uh, I don't know how to say it, where everybody's just kind of, yes. Uh, Indian Market is just crazy, it's, it's a great event, I mean the, I love their uh, their preview and the dinner, it's just nice, you know, it's not, you're not rushing, it's kind of like you're in a big city, always rushing, 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 and then compared to the, yeah, like on the reservation, I guess. I don't know. If that's a if that's a that's a good way to say it, but but uh, I love the show. It's a really wonderful show, and, and the people here really uh, help you out, and uh, they're there. You know, when you go when you leave your booth, there's always somebody to help you there. You know, it's just a wonderful show.